All right, it is time for easily my most requested video this year, how to win face-offs in NHL 23. If you've watched my Twitch channel, you know I take a lot of pride in being able to call out exactly what my opponent's gonna do so that I can start with puck possession almost every single draw. Now, there is a very large rock, paper, scissors element to it. On top of knowing all the face-off variation and different setups, you've gotta know the psychology of your opponent as well. So I'm gonna go through all of my tips and tricks so that you can call out exactly what your opponent's gonna do in the most opportune situations in the game. If you guys enjoy the video, please give it a like. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for the most up-to-date news, tips, and info for NHL 23. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the most important portion of this video, and that is going to be the face-off chart. Until you memorize everything on this chart, the rest of the video is really not going to help you. If you want to improve at face-offs, this is what you have to memorize before you do anything else, because until you do, you're basically just guessing. But these are all of the counters to every single face-off that is in the game. They have remained the same for quite some time, but you can screenshot this or refer to this video. Whatever you have to do, have this available to you when you're playing games over the next few so that if you continue losing a draw of a certain style, you will know exactly what to do to counter that. Now, how to read the chart? On the left-hand side, it'll show you your opponent's face-off, what they are doing when they are going to do their face-off. So again, in this video, I will show you what each one of these face-offs look like, but let's take the normal forehand your opponent lines up with a normal forehand grip if you do the forehand stick lift or the backhand stick lift you will win that draw the 99s that are on this chart they indicate attribute wins so essentially if you and your opponent both do a normal forehand setup whoever has the highest face-off rating will win that draw it also takes ping into account and things like that so there will be some variations but more often than not whoever has the highest attribute is going to win that tie quick draw is also extremely important because that ability can almost nullify even losses. So just keep that in mind. Once you've memorized this, guys, you can really use this to your advantage because once you know exactly what your opponent is setting up for in certain situations, you can use probability to determine what is going to give you the best chance to survive a face-off. So again, until you've memorized this, the rest of this video is really not going to be that impactful. You've got to memorize this. All right, let's talk about face-off grips because again, that chart might not make a lot of sense when it comes to 400 backhand. So this is what a standard backhand looks like with a left-handed player. So to get a backhanded face-off grip, you want to hold the right thumbstick to three o'clock. Doing so will put you in the backhand grip, and then you can do all of the different face-off variations that I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Alternatively, by holding down the right thumbstick to nine o'clock with a left-handed player, you will get the forehand grip. So it's very open. And then again, this will allow you to do all of the different forehand variations from the face-off. There it is. Now, for right-handed players, it's just flipped in terms of the face-off grip. So if you want to have a backhand grip with a right-handed player, you would hold the right thumbstick to 9 o'clock. If you wanted to have a forehand grip, you would hold it to 3 o'clock. Exactly the same, it's just reversed. All right, let's go through all of the face-off variations so you guys now know what they actually look like. So we are going to start things off with one of, or if not the most basic one, and that is the normal forehand. So you line up with a forehand grip, and you just basically pull it back down to the bottom of the thumbstick. So if you are using a left-handed player, you are holding the right thumbstick to 9 o'clock, and you just pull it down along the outside of the thumbstick to six o'clock or five o'clock even doesn't really matter just pulling it down and that is what this is going to look like now the normal forehand will only straight up beat the tie up and the deke now the tie up is a very very popular one but is also the e most easily read so pay attention to that all right next up is the forehand stick lift this is when you will kick it back to your defenseman using the four-handed grip with a left-handed player you would hold the right thumbstick to nine clock as the draw is coming up you instead of going down will take the thumbstick and throw it towards 12 o'clock that will do the forehand stick lift animation this will defeat the normal forehand so what i just showed you as well as the backhand stick lift next up is the normal backhand this is using a backhanded grip and just pulling it straight back much like the forehand just obviously on the backhand 
This is going to be the most common face-off that you face, especially if you're in a lower division, because people just don't know really any other draw type. However, it is one of the best in the game, because the only one that will actually counter it and beat it is the tie-up. If you have someone that is 99 overall in golden quick draw, you should win every single other opponent draw type that you face. However, as you get into higher divisions, this one becomes really easy to counter, because a lot of people tie up. Our next face-off is the backhand stick lift. So, with a left-handed player you would hold the right thumbstick to three o'clock to get into that backhanded grip and then again instead of going down towards six you would pull the right thumbstick up towards 12 o'clock and that will give you the backhand stick lift animation now the backhand stick lift is a very important one because again once you get into the higher divisions or you're facing someone that does the tie up quite a bit the backhand stick lift will defeat it it will also defeat a normal forehand so a nice little tactic is if you tie up yourself on the draw and i will show you how to do a tie up draw in just a moment you can then mix that in because your opponent will go for a normal forehand to try and beat the tie up and then you can hit him with a backhand stick lift to counter again this ties into the psychology of your opponent when playing somebody all right the next face off is the tie up this can be done from the forehand or the backhand and it does work different than the other face offs what you want to do with a left-handed player is get into a backhand grip like this again you can do it in the forehand as well but instead of moving the right thumbstick you are going to move the left thumbstick up up as the puck drops and that will get a tie-up formation now in nhl 23 tie-ups are kind of a mess even if you do the correct counter and you are winning the tie-up draw your opponent can still come away with the puck again it is kind of a mess but it is a very crucial face-off type to learn because it stops the normal backhand which again is one of the most common ones you will see and it can really slow down set plays from your opponent all right, the last face-off I'm just going to show you, even though it is completely useless in online play, essentially, is the deke. The only way that you're ever going to beat someone is if they are also doing it. It will lose to every single other face-off draw, so maybe if your opponent isn't playing, or if you're in a low enough division and your opponent doesn't know how to actually line up for the draw, you basically start in a neutral grip, meaning that you're not on the forehand or backhand. You just let go, hold down L1, and then hit up on the right thumbstick as the puck is dropped, and what you'll do is a deke out of the face-off, and and it does look cool, but again, you just it's so rare you'll ever be able to get this pulled off. All right, now the last thing I want to talk about is the psychology and the things that I look for when I'm playing someone in terms of face-offs. A golden rule of mine is I'll keep doing the same draw from the beginning of the game until the end until my opponent shows me that they actually know the counter. So if you want to start with, you know, the tie-up, go ahead and keep doing that until your opponent shows you that they know the counter to the tie-up. Also, remember, however, that your opponent is probably going to be influenced by a win more than a loss. So if they beat you on a draw remember that the next one they're probably going to do the exact same thing they just did because they think that they can beat you with it another thing you need to remember currently in the defensive zone, it is very important that you only stick lift until there is a fix or until the game has changed a little bit. Right now, if you tie up and lose a tie up, they will get a straight line into your net. And now while you might be asking me, well, what if they just do the backhand strike back because that's the counter to the stick lift? Let them have that. If they want to win the draw back to their defense, that's fine. One of two reasons. One, currently the default faceoff setting is defensive, meaning that your defense are really far back. Right now, if someone has that defense, default set because EA has left it as that with that mismatch of strategies that they've had you can beeline straight to their defense and intercept pass the other thing is I would much rather have a backhand straight back and their defense have it than that winger get it and get to cut right into the net because it is very difficult to defend but it's something that you need to pay attention to I'll release a video guys that will go over some of more advanced plays and tricks and things like that but this is the basics and if you can master this you are going to win almost all of your face-offs in the lower divisions especially Let's let me know what you think in the comments section down below, guys, and I hope this helps. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.